If you've been learning how to trade and you still get confused on how to read a chart or candlesticks, in this video, I'm going to be going over everything to help you understand how to read, analyze, and execute candlestick patterns and price actions to help you become a more profitable trader. In today's video, we're going to go over exactly how to read candlesticks and price action. This is super important because if you can't read price action and you don't know how candlesticks form, you don't understand 90% of what's going on in the charts. And this is one of the most important and crucial things for technical analysis before you even find a strategy because there's so many strategies that can work for you. However, you need to combine those strategies with understanding candlesticks and price action to actually become profitable. So in this video, by the time you're done watching, you should understand how to read candlesticks and price action in a very effective way to use it within your own strategy and setups. So number one, how can we read candlesticks? Well, here we have both a bearish and bullish candlestick, and let's talk about how they're formed. So as we can see here, this is the bearish candlestick. Now, one candlestick itself tells us a lot about the direction in which the stock is heading. Because we have bearish and bullish candlesticks, this helps us differentiate between different trends and also who has more power at that specific time. So let's talk about it. So here we have a bearish candlestick. You can see that we have the wicks, these upper portions right here where you see these lines, these are called wicks. We have the upper wick and the lower wick. And then this part right here is called the body. Now the body is where the most action happened. And then the wicks also give us a picture. And we're gonna talk more about that later. So as we can see here, here, this is the open of the candle. Now, what does this mean? For a bearish candlestick, the open is at the top and the close is at the bottom. Vice versa, for a bullish candlestick, the open is at the bottom and the close is at the top. Now, what does this indicate? Well, for us, this open means that candle opened up here. We tried to make a new high. This means when this candle opened or this candle started printing, we started to get buyers and we tried to bring it to new highs of this candle. Unfortunately, buyers weren't strong enough and sellers came in and brought it all the way down to this low right here. And once again, buyers came back at this low trying to bring this candle to be a little bit more bullish. Unfortunately, we could not do that and we closed right here, right? So for a bearish candle, once again, the open is at the top, the close is at the bottom, the high and low signify where buyers and sellers were fighting. Now, what does this signify and why is this important? This is important for you to understand because every single strategy or every single candlestick pattern depends on specific candles in which you enter. So if you understand what the candle is and how the candle form in the future after you've mastered candlesticks, you'll be able to almost predict how a candle closes based off of how it's forming during the day. So this is the bearish candle for the bullish candle. It's the exact opposite. We open at the bottom right here. We see that sellers try to bring it down. This is the low, then buyers came right back up and we brought it all the way up to new highs. Sellers came back in a little bit again, trying to bring it back below that open. Unfortunately, they weren't able to and we closed it up here. Once again, this is how bearish and bullish candlesticks are made. Pretty simple concept, but I hope this helped you understand how candlesticks are formed because that's really important to understand. Okay, now that we understand how candlesticks are formed, let's go look at some bullish and bearish candlestick patterns. So here we have bullish candlesticks. As we can see here, this goes from the most bullish to the least bullish. So of course, the most bullish candlestick opens at the bottom here and closes at the top. This is a full body candle. There's no wicks, meaning there was no sellers, and this is completely bullish, right? So this is going to be the most bullish if you see this on the chart. This usually means that bulls have the majority of the control. Now, this is the second most bullish. This is also my favorite candlestick whenever I like to enter on a long position. This is a hammer stick candle right here, and this is the second most bullish candle. Now, what does this candle signify? As we can see here, we would open up on the candle right here. We see that sellers try to bring this all the way back down. However, buyers came in very strong and we closed at a new high of that candle. So this signifies that sellers did try to bring this stock all the way back down to the lows. However, because how we close this candle, buyers are in extreme control again because we were able to bring the stock and close it at new highs. Now, this is the third most bullish candle and we just had an example with this candle in the previous slides. And then here is a neutral candle and finally the least bullish candle. Now, 
Of course, we understand why this is the least bullish candle, but for the neutral candle, I just want to talk about this. This is also considered a doji candle. So basically with this candle, the reason it's a neutral bullish candle is because there's actually no buyers or sellers that are in control here. Because this candle closed green, that's the only reason this is bullish. However, for me at least, this is a much more neutral candle. Why? Well, it's because the stock opened up right here at the low of that body. We brought the stock up up we did not close up here and then we brought the stock all the way down with sellers and we did not close here and then buyers and sellers basically had a fight within this body to see where we would close now we did close a little bit bullish on this candle but this is a much more neutral candle because in this candle right here this is a fair priced candle this means both buyers and sellers think that this is a fair price for the stock and that's why it didn't push aggressively to one side or another and this is very important to understand when you see those neutral candles it's okay to get in on neutral candles as well it just depends on the candlestick pattern that you're looking for at that specific time and we'll talk more about that when we look at examples now when we look at some of the examples here we look at the hammer stick candle right here this is personally my favorite to trade if you're in the mastermind and trade live with me you know that this is one of my most favorite patterns to trade and the reason this is is because as we can see we're bringing in lows here we come into this candle we make a new low but then buyers come back in and make a new high this shows that this key level if there was a specific key level right here we broke that level came back up and buyers were present here or we had unfilled buy orders and we made a new high now we'll talk more about that in the examples as well but just know that this is one of my favorite patterns to trade which is the bullish hammer stick candle now for the inverted hammer this is something i don't trade so we don't have to talk about that the dragonfly doji is similar with the hammer candle as well so it's basically the same thing however when we came back up we simply just did not make a body candle and then finally we're going to talk about the bullish engulfing because all these other ones i don't really trade too much the bullish engulfing is similar to the hammer stick candle one thing you have to understand when we're trading candlesticks is each candlestick on a different time frame is telling a different story and that that's why if you watch my multi time frame analysis video, you understand this much more clearly because if there's a couple time frames that align and let's say you have a bullish thesis, that makes that confluence so much more clear because all the time frames are bullish. Now the reason I say that is because for this example here, this bullish engulfing, let's say on the 1 minute time frame is the same as this hammer stick candle on the 3 or 5 minute time frame. It would make a hammer stick candle on the higher time frame, right? The reason this is is because once again we come back down sellers trying to be in control we make a new low on this candle we come back up we create that body right and as we can see this would very likely be a hammer stick candle just on a different time frame so you have to understand that on different time frames the candlesticks do look different but you also have to understand what pattern it would be making on a different time frame so those are the bullish candlesticks now let's go over to the bearish candlesticks all right for the bearish candlesticks it's the exact opposite as the bullish the most bearish once again it opens up here and it closes down here of course it's a full body candle the second most bearish is simply the inverse of the hammer stick candle which is called the shooting star candle right and that's basically we're opening up here we try to make new highs meaning bulls try to come in however sellers come in once again and we close at new lows this is once again that bearish candlestick we talked about we also talked about this neutral candle as well right this is once again with the bullish candle it just closed at a new high but the bearish candle it just closed at a new low but it's still a neutral candle meaning that both buyers and sellers are fighting here there's not really a direction to be had and then finally this is the least bullish candle this was basically a, almost a bullish candle right however it closed a little bit below now here are the patterns the patterns i focus on the most is the shooting star candle because this is literally the opposite of the hammer candle on the bullish side so for the short side i like to go for the shooting star candle and then of course we have the gray stone doji that you can focus on and then also the bearish engulfing notice how all these candlestick patterns are the exact same just flipped right because that's all it is bullish and bearish candlesticks are the exact same they're just flipped to the other side and you have to understand when they're forming what the picture actually means all right so those are the bullish and bearish candlesticks now those are all the candlestick patterns you need to understand however there's two things i need you guys to understand as well number one always look for candlesticks or any candlestick pattern near specific key levels specific key levels is where you should be looking for candlesticks this is because they have the most volume if you're just looking at candlesticks and candlestick patterns 
on a random chart, it won't work as effectively as it would if it was near a key level. So always be looking at candlestick patterns or anything you're trading near key levels for the best risk to reward. Number two, always wait for the candlesticks to close. Why? It's because traders will often see a hammerstick candle forming and enter into the trade because they think that they can enter in a little bit early and have a better risk to reward. But the problem that occurs is once the candle actually forms and fully develops, it isn't a hammerstick candle. It's actually a very bearish candle, right? So always wait for the candlestick to actually form before you enter into the trade. So you actually know what type of candlestick you're entering on. And this will save you from a lot of losses. Now, with that being said, let's go look at some real examples to really solidify this concept. Okay, so here we are on SPY. This is going to be the first example. And the first thing we want to do is find profitable zones or key levels to actually trade these candlesticks off of. Now, for me, the number one thing that I will be looking at because we did gap down right into the open is simply marking out the pre-market high, which is right here and then the pre-market low. Now, after marking out these levels, these are levels that everyone is looking at on the chart because we did gap down on the day. Therefore, most traders are looking at these and there's going to be a lot of volume and liquidity sitting at these areas. So we wanna see what price action does near this level. Now, this isn't a strategy video, thus we can use any strategy here. We're just gonna be using simple support and resistance and understanding the actual candlesticks and price action when it's forming. However, if you do want a strategy video, make sure to go check out my YouTube. I have so many strategy videos that I've made that you can choose one and actually apply it to this yourself. So let's play out this trade and see exactly what happens based off of the candlesticks. All right, so right off the bat, what's the first thing that we see here? We see that we came up to pre-market high, we rejected both times, and both of those rejections had equal tops, right? After that, we came back, we rejected this candle opened here, try to make a new high, couldn't, made an equal top, came all the way back down here and closed. This is a very bearish candle that you could theoretically enter in for a short position right here, looking for that pre-market low and our stop loss would simply be above that previous high of day. This would be a 3.2 R trade. We could enter into a short position here and let's see exactly what happens. Okay, and we end off the trade here. This was a $750 trade simply by understanding the pre-market high. There's liquidity sitting there. That's a key level. That's a profitable area to be trading. And then also understanding that this is a very bearish candlestick. So we can flatten out that position there for $750. Now, there's another thing that I want you guys to notice. At the pre-market low, we're currently making a hammer stick candle. Now, this hammer stick candle doesn't give me enough confirmation to enter the trade. However, this shows me that there are buyers stepping into to this trade and they're looking to take a reversal off of that pre-market low. So of course, for me, I need a little bit more confirmation. However, as we can see with this candlestick right here, this is a very good candlestick for the bullish side and to flatten out our position for the short side. So let's play out this trade a little bit more. And right here, what do we see? Well, there's two things. We made a hammer stick candle. After that, we came back up. We opened this candle. Sellers tried to bring it down. As we can see here, sellers try to bring it down. That's what this wick represents. And then we closed up here above pre-market high. So once again, we can enter into a long position here. And I'm not saying to do this, right? This isn't a strategy video. I'm simply trying to show you the actual candlesticks and the thought process behind all of these candlesticks and how they form. However, if we were to go long looking for that pre-market high and then have our stop simply below this previous candle right here, this would be once again, another 3.84 trade by understanding that we were bearish before because of this candlestick right here, the way it had an equal top and then came all the way back down. And then we're bullish here because of this hammer stick candle at the pre-market low. And then we had a very bullish candle right after that. So we can enter into the trade here and let's see what happens after we enter into this trade. And once again, we were able to catch that reversal based off that candlestick near that profitable area. For another $850, we can flatten that position there for a total of $1,600 on the day by simply understanding the candlesticks and the price action that occur near specific key levels that are profitable to trade. Now, let's go look at one more example to really solidify this concept. Okay, so for this example here on Apple, we can mark out the pre-market low and then also the pre-market high. Same thing here, right? Those are two profitable areas on the chart that we can trade off of. And we're simply looking for price action near this level to see exactly what happens. So let's play out this trade here. And notice how I'm not micromanaging 
teaching. I'm not looking at every single candle and being like, oh, this stock can do this, this stock can do this. That's not the purpose of understanding price action, right? Because in between all these key levels is noise. The only thing you wanna focus on on the chart is simply your key levels Anything in between or anything above or below is simply noise. So let's keep playing out this trade. Here we can see we broke out of that specific key level at pre-market high. This shows that the trend is to the upside. So what we would want is simply a retest of this key level and then a continuation to the upside. So let's keep playing out this trade. And look at this, we came up, broke that pre-market high, consolidated, came back down. This is a higher low that we're putting in currently. And look at this hammer stick candle. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at how strong this hammer stick candle is. And this shows that sellers came in and they're trying to break it back below that pre-market high. Fortunately, buyers came back and we closed at almost new highs right up here, right? And this is why it's one of my most favorite candlestick patterns because with the hammer stick candle, it really shows and signifies how buyers are extremely strong there because we did wake below. We took out liquidity. So this was also where other people got stopped out of the trade. And now we can enter in after the candle closed. So we would enter in for a long position on this trade right here. We can put our stop loss at the break of this key structure right here. And then we can have our profit targets all the way up here to risk to reward trade. Now, as you guys know, I always like to do at least a 2.0 risk to reward trade. This trade could go further. This trade could go less. This isn't about the strategy. I'm simply showing you the actual price action and candlesticks. That's what we want to focus on in this video. So let's play out this trade here, enter into the trade and let's see exactly what happens. So as we can see there, that really just took one, two, three, four, five minutes. After five minutes of entering into that trade, we made $685 on Apple by simply understanding that price action near key levels and how candlesticks form. So I hope this video helped you understand candlesticks and price action much more clearly. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more behind the scenes and much more education. And I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video.